These were the first books that I ever annotated and I didn't even really know that that's what I was doing. Sixth grade me thought this book was oh like my. top tier thriller. So I am reading this book and freaking out and trying not to wake anybody up while I am just having an absolute crisis. I know. And with the winter comes Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Sam and these are books that I would give anything to read for the first time again. So anybody that knows me knows that I am an avid rereader. I reread books all the time and I used to reread books a lot more. Since joining booktube I find myself reading a lot more new books but I used to reread books like five, six, seven plus times and I never got tired of them and I still feel that way. There are still a lot of books that I love to reread. There's lots of books that I'm rereading this month and I just really enjoy a good reread. However, there are some books that I have found it doesn't matter how many times I reread it, it's never going to feel the way that it did the first time. Some books that feeling doesn't matter. Some books I can reread it and it feels exactly the same way every single time and I just love diving back into that world. Some books, I, while I still love rereading them and still love getting back into that world, the feeling is different and I'm never going to experience that first time reading it ever again. So I have five books that I want to talk about that I would literally give anything to be able to read for the first time again. And I think it's really important to note that this doesn't necessarily correlate with my list of like all time favorite books. Those two lists are different lists. Some of these books are not like they didn't make my absolute list of favorites, but I still would like to experience them for the first time again and I think you'll kind of see why that is and why those two lists are different as we get into what the books are for this list so let's go ahead and get into it but before we jump into the books if you have not already don't forget to hit that subscribe button and the little bell icon will notify you when I post so let's talk about the five books that I would give absolutely anything to be able to read for the first time again so the first book on this list is Maximum Ride by James Patterson this was one of my absolute favorite series as a teenager throughout like late middle and all of high school I was absolutely obsessed with these books. I have probably read them 10 times and this book follows Max and her friends, siblings, they're kind of like a little family but they're really not related and all of them are 98% human and 2% avian so basically that means that they have wings and they grew up as like science experiments and it was not a good situation until one of these scientists rescued them and they have now been spending a few years living kind of in secret and in hiding until the youngest member of their little group is kidnapped and they have to go save her. This book was was everything to me. Fang was my original book boyfriend. He was my phone password for like 10 years. <laughs> and I was just absolutely obsessed with this book. These were the first books that I ever annotated and I didn't even really know that that's what I was doing but I do remember that I wanted one of my friends to read the series so bad but this was before she read books at all and I eventually changed her mind but she wouldn't read books so I went through and I underlined or highlighted every single interaction between Max and Fang that was even remotely romantic in any stretch of the imagination and made her just read the underlined and highlighted parts. I have found that the actual plot now that I'm older I did try to reread these last year and I have found that it's not the same. I might have tried to reread them earlier this year but I found that it's not the same anymore. The plot isn't really enough for me anymore and as much as I still love that romance and it's still one of my favorite friends to lovers slow burn romances of all time I'm struggling to get through the book. I read the first one, I reread the first one recently and then I tried to read the second one and I didn't finish it and I really think it's just because the plot is a little bit too young for me now and I'm just not invested in the actual plot anymore which makes me so sad because if I can't get through the plot I'm never going to get to experience that romance again so I would I would give anything to reread this for the first time at the age I was when I read it for the first time because this book changed my life. The second book that I would love to read again for the first time is The Best of Me by Nicholas Sparks. So this book follows Amanda and Dawson and they fell in love in high school and they had like this really cute whirlwind romance and everything seemed perfect until this tragedy kind of tore them apart and now it is 25 years later and they both end up back in that town um, for a funeral. 
and this is the first time that they have seen each other in 25 years and they have like this little weekend together and then they're kind of faced with a very big decision to make and a lot of consequences of whatever decision they end up making. It is heartbreaking, <laughs> which is why I will never read it again, which is why I wish I could read it again for the first time, but also again at the age that I was when I read it for the first time because now going in as a booktuber I would know more about this than I would have known in high school and I probably wouldn't have read it. But I loved this book. This is my favorite Nicholas Sparks book ever. I will never read it again. I, I, I can't ever read this again, but it was amazing. And I just wish that I could experience that for the first time again. Third book is No Place Like Home. And I don't actually have a dust jacket on this book because I got it thrifted, but I will put the dust jacket here. So this book, I'm not gonna lie, I don't remember much of the plot, but I do remember that twist. But basically this follows Liza slash Celia. So Liza was her name and there was a terrible accident when she was a child. She was protecting her mom from her abusive stepfather and she had a gun and she ended up accidentally shooting and killing her mother. And while it was ruled accidental, she, everybody like compared her to Lizzie Borden and her life was basically ruined and she was a very young kid. So she was, I think she was adopted and then they changed her name to Celia and now she is married and an adult and then her husband surprises her by buying the house that she killed her mother in and I don't think he knows. Um, then the real then the real estate agent is killed and then she's like a suspect in it so now she's investigating this whole ordeal. This was this was so good. I read it in sixth grade. It was my first Mary Higgins Clark book and my first like adult thriller ever and it literally changed everything. This is what got me into thrillers because this twist, this is why I want to reread it for the first time, but I would like to read it at this age for the first time because I would love to know if that twist is actually as good as I thought it was then or if it's something that I would guess now that I'm older and have more experience with thrillers. That's what I want to know, but sixth grade me thought this book was like top tier thriller of all time. Next book is House of Earth and Blood by Sarah De Maas. This book I read for the first time last year and it was a long weekend away with my mom and my sister and my sister's best friend and we went to Florida but it was raining the whole time so we ended up just sitting in our Airbnb for basically the whole weekend and just read like all weekend and I read this entire book in like a day. So literally that was all I did was just sit there and read and it was amazing. I had no responsibilities. I had nowhere to be. I had nothing to do. I just got to sit there and read for an entire weekend and it was the greatest weekend of my life. But I have since reread this book and I will continue to reread this book. I do love rereading this book but I did find when I reread it that although I still had all of the great emotions and all the great feelings and the book was a fantastic reread, there was just something about that weekend and reading this in one sitting and just experiencing it for the first time that I'm just not gonna get in a reread. And I just loved rereading, loved reading this for the first time. Plus it was my first like adult fantasy ever and I just absolutely loved it. And then the last book that I would give absolutely anything to read for the first time again is Outlander by Diana Gabaldon. This book literally changed my life, like absolutely changed my life. And I feel like I read this last year for the first time in the end of June and I remember specifically when I finished this book because I was sitting on an airplane and we were going to Colorado and I had my husband on one side and my brother-in-law on the other side and I was sitting in the middle and they had both fallen asleep and they had both ended up like falling asleep on my shoulders so I was trying I'm like sitting there with this book trying not to move too much so I don't wake them up while reading like the last quarter of this book and if you've read this book you know that the last quarter is extremely intense so I am reading this book and freaking out and trying not to wake anybody up while I am just having an absolute crisis <laughs> and it was just like I can't wait to reread this book I absolutely plan to and I'm sure that I will love it just as much the second time but there's just something about the first time with this whole series like experiencing this series for the first time was a pivotal moment in my life changed who I am as a reader changed everything for me and I'm never going to get that again so life-changing book right here 
So those are the five books that I would give absolutely anything to read again for the first time. If you have read any of these books and you agree with me, let me know in the comments. Or if you have a book that you would give anything to read again for the first time, let me know what the title is in the comments. I definitely want to check it out. If you haven't already, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and I will see y'all in the next video. Bye! Oh my love